My name is Masayuki Tayama. I'm a pianist and now the captain of the piano boat and resident pianist. A lot of people notice that when I step onto the boat that I'm suddenly calm and less stress. Because I do a lot of performance, it can be a strangely stressful lifestyle. And when I go on the, the water, it's all gone. Therefore, it was just the perfect combination to put the two together. I'm Rihanna Henderson, and I'm a pianist and piano teacher and the manager of The Piano Boat. One holiday when we both had concerts coming up quite soon after the holiday, we had to take a keyboard on board with us and onto this narrow boat so that we could carry on practicing. As we were just cruising down the canals, people were stopping and asking, is there somebody playing the piano in there? Because that's quite an unusual thing to hear on a boat. And suddenly I thought, well, why is nobody actually doing this on a kind of larger scale? We knew we were going to get this intimate setting. It's really becoming very popular and much more fashionable. You get to meet the artist, you get into their thoughts. You really get to know the artist rather than just sitting as one of the 4,000 seats. That was something that I was quite keen to bring on, to really have that intimate setting. As it happens, I was quite fortunate enough to have a Steinway from when I was about 10 or 11. As we started to formulate the idea of this luxury canal boat, we thought, okay, for the piano, it has to be a Steinway. I have been playing all sorts of Steinways, it's all these competition circuits, everything. It's always been a Steinway. It just gives that sweet color of sound where you can really speak your music. The perfect instrument, no question that we needed to get a Steinway. And Mauro was very helpful at Steinways to look at the venue space and the audience and the setup. The idea of having a Steinway was always on the cards because obviously we wanted to create something extraordinary that people will just be able to remember for the rest of their lives. So having a Steinway grand piano is obviously a huge part of that. Delivery was scary and I never thought I would have to see the piano that we got being craned up high up. I remember talking to the builder, hey, we just realized that we need to put the piano in from the ceiling. And it was a day before the steelwork was going to be completed. So it was just in time that they were able to, to create this slightly larger aperture for to make sure that the piano would fit. And it was quite amusing because they actually built sort of a mock blue piano. We gave them the dimensions and they built, built this quite cute blue piano and they actually tried it out. So we knew it was going to fit, but nevertheless, it was a quite a scary thing altogether to see the piano that's slowly being created in. We want to provide this incredible experience and atmosphere for people when they come on board. We will be offering afternoon musical cruises where you have the option of having an afternoon tea as you come on. And we've also got these musical holidays where you have exclusive use of the boat. It's a skippered musical holiday, so we will be hosting you on board. And then we have the private hire, the ebony and ivory bespoke private hire option, which is, you know, the world's your oyster with that. 